So this week, uh, on a very kind of short timeline, uh, Elon Musk announced that uh, he's releasing Grok 3. Uh, it was like announced a day before, and the next day there was a live stream. It came out. Um, Grok 3 is basically the most advanced features are available for you to try on the browser and the web. Um, and then they're building the features into X. And then, of course, you can do the app. But the app, as he said so eloquently, uh, it takes about a week or so for uh, the new updates to be applied and approved if you're trying to use the Grok app on your phone or on your um on Android or Apple, so you have to wait. But you know, out the gate, Pat. You know, we shared some stuff. I mean, there was there were some some there were some various shares that came out about Grok 3's performance, and it was very good. Now, having said that, um, there was a little bit of an N minus one comparison going on that uh, I had to look at both because with the N minus one, Grok kind of won everywhere. It won in um, math, it won in science, it won in coding. But then um, I did see some of the sort of more, uh, you know, some of the pundits out there that aren't named Pat and Dan shared a second version of it that kind of uh, incorporated reasoning, test time, compute comparisons, and included O3, which is the largest late model from OpenAI. And in those categories, Grok 3's reasoning and mini reasoning still both performed incredibly well, um, but did come just behind but this still brings a really interesting thing about kind of what's going on with reasoning, with test time, with efficiency. I mean, um, XAI has not uh, scrimped on investment. I think it's what, 200,000 uh, GPUs now. And I think uh, Musk talked about adding to that this week. Um, so by the way, I think NVIDIA is gonna be okay from what I'm hearing here. Um, but um, it is interesting how quickly XAI, uh, we're seeing it with Llama, we're seeing it with Gemini. There is a, there does feel like there's a lot of pressure on OpenAI at the, at the, at the front of the pack. Where I increasingly, as I see SoftBank suggesting a 250 billion dollar valuation, um, where it seems that others are able to build interestingly and competitively close products to do the key functionalities, like I said, the math numbers, the science numbers, and um, the coding, which actually Grok uh, apparently outperformed the OpenAI models. Um, that it's moving really, really quickly, Pat. So I think it's, I think it's, I think it's a really interesting time in the models. And rather than just rambling on about this one, I feel like this is an increasingly commoditized part of the market. I feel like how we apply the data to them. But Pat, I don't know. Over the last week, I've played with deep research. I played with OpenAI deep research, perplexity. I've been playing with Grok three. I mean, the speed of innovation in which taking place here is absolutely mind blowing. And um, and Musk is moving very very quickly. He's really putting the screws on and uh, turning turning on, on on Sam. And man, by, by the way, just a side note: the debate between those two, uh, never getting rid of Twitter, never getting rid of X. Man, I, I just I, I just absolutely find it it in entertaining. It's intoxicating, man. I mean, I doom scroll way too much on it. So, hey, uh, uh, on uh, on Grok three, I think you. You eloquently uh, laid out the case for yeah, it's it's really good uh, at math and science uh, and coding. It may not be as good as O3 standard, uh, which uh, which came out in in December. Um, but just the fact that it's even in the hunt, I find absolutely uh, miraculous. Now. One thing we do know is it took 200,000 uh, GPUs, uh, which may or may not indicate that scaling laws uh, are in effect. Uh, I think I think the latest uh, Llama 3 took 50,000 uh, GPUs. So if we compare that to 200,000, how does that scale? Is it a 4x improvement? No, we don't know uh, for uh, 03 as an example. Uh, we we actually don't know uh, how many uh, GPUs uh, they used. Only OpenAI and Microsoft uh, would know that. So it's kind of an unknown. I think what what we should know though is the time it took to get this thing out was absolutely incredible, uh, and that could say okay maybe the scaling law if you put in time to market and and time to pre-train and train 
that's what you should be uh, looking at. Um, uh, so, you know, I'm not there yet that, you know, there's a direct scaling between how many GPUs and, and the capability. Could be the benchmarks aren't up to date. Uh, final thought is, is that uh, Elon was very clear that he's going to be improving this. It's not going to be, okay, we've uh, smashed out Grok 3 and, uh, you know, we're not going to improve it and just move on to Grok 4, kind of like we've seen with uh, some previous model makers who were pretty much focused on the next best thing. I I'm wondering if that could indicate that this came out quicker than possible or quicker than they wanted to. Uh, but listen, anytime you can run up uh, run up the score, uh, at least based on uh, you know these tests on O3 Mini, O1 Deep Seek, and Gemini 2 uh, Flash Thinking, uh, you've done a a really good job. The other thing we don't know is how many employees has it taken to move uh, uh, to move this forward. So, anyways. Uh, a lot of knowns, uh, a lot of unknowns, but congratulations to the Grok, Grok team. By the way, congratulations also to uh, some of the suppliers uh, in there, uh, like Dell, uh, for instance. Uh, Vast Data uh, also is in there. And I'm sure I'm forgetting uh, some folks. Uh, the head node is, is probably Intel, but uh, I digress.